Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty. We will wrap up season number six in the regular season here in this episode. We come into this game 20 in five and facing a top 10 team much like ourselves in arizona we will conclude this season playing them twice here in the last five games and i'm looking forward to playing probably the best player in our conference in francois venter he's going to be a very good center he can also handle the ball which is crazy good and you can just see right here he's on top of the pack 10 I guess Pac-12 player of the year candidates here this season. And here we go. I mean, this is going to be a team that we might face up to three, four times. Who knows for the rest of the way. And because we might play them in the conference tournament. Also, the NCAA tournament. You just never know with this Arizona team. They are very, very good. So we do win the tip off. We are at uh, on the road, I should say. Our second game will be at home. And right away, Justin Johnson gets called for the push off that time. Offensive foul. And here comes Arizona the other way. Let's look at their first possession. Here's a fadeaway two from mid range. And that one is off the mark. And what we've been doing lately has been working the ball inside of Teixeira. He has it there. Out to Macklin, who nails the three point shot. And Macklin gets us going on the board. Three to nothing here. Here's Steve Jenkins handling the ball, and he throws one up at the hoop and gets contact in the air. James Stacy on the foul. He hits one of two free throws this time. Here's a drive and layup, missed shot. Offensive rebound by Venter and put back in. And Arizona is on the board now, and here's Venter at the top. This time he's getting a pick from the point guard, and he goes all the way to the basket. You rarely see that. Francois Venter, the center. Goes all the way to the basket after the pick from the point guard, Tyrell Washington. Wow. But here the other way. Here is Macklin with a nice three, giving us a three-point lead. And here's a fadeaway two, and that's blocked by Nick Miles. Five-foot-eight Nick Miles on the defensive end. Here is Josie McKay. He gets the fadeaway to go in mid-range. And now it's nine to four. And here is Jenkins handling the ball at the top. He gets ripped that time. Good defense being played by James Stacy. He goes all the way to the bucket and draws the foul on Josie McKay. That's his first personal of the game. So 9-6 game. Here is Jenkins with a deep three. That one's off. And here comes Arizona the other way. The Wildcats. Here is Stacy on the wing. He's going to go all the way to the basket. Draws some foul and, and one. He had the contact that time and the body control. And he gets that one to go. And the junior goes to the free throw line, knocks down the and one free throw. 9-9 nine, nine game. So we are number eight and number nine, respectively. Here is Macklin, open three in the corner. He gets it to go. That's his second. That's his, actually his third of the first half alone. But Arizona the other way. This is going to go tip for tap to the end. They get that one to go as they eventually take the 13-12 game. 13 and 12 lead. Here is Macklin, his fourth three, and that one is good. He's got 12 to lead LBSU, and it's now a two point lead in our favor. Offensive rebound that time by William Caesar. Here's Macklin working it out to the perimeter. Miles, foot on the line, and he gets it to go. But that's a deep two, 17 13. Miles off the bench has been really good for us. So here he is now, another jab step. Oh, creating the separation and gets to an open spot. Nick Miles, two big jump shots that time. Gives us a seven point lead. Here's Steve Jenkins to the basket. What a move. We're finishing with the left hand as well. 12, 22 to 13 at that point. But Arizona, you cannot count them out. They're the number eight team in the country for a reason. Here's a drive to the basket and a and one. Tyrell Washington gets the foul call against Josie McKay, the McDonald's All-American freshman. So here we are up by three now, working it inside. This is Steve Jenkins. He gets the contact over Stacy, and now he goes to the free throw line. We need to slow this game down on both ends of the floor. Here is Solomon to share this time. Inside, and he throws it up in double, and I guess in traffic, and one almost said double coverage. We're not, talk not talking about football here. And he gets that one to go. Solomon to share on the inside. And now it's 26 22. So here's to share again. We give it to him. And he works around the all. I guess that's going to be the conference player of the year eventually, inventor. 
And now it's a six-point game. Playing some defense is Nick Miles the other way. Passing it up to Teixeira again. And he gets the foul call on Venter. I was hoping to have a couple of fouls on him. Get him out of the game. But that's his first foul of the game so far. So now a six-point game. Here's Jenkins. All of a sudden stops. And I don't know what the defenders were doing. They kind of just left him. They thought we were going to pass to the corner. And instead he gets that shot to go. Here is another post up. And it's Tamir Macklin fadeaway shot for him. And it's a 14-point game so far for Macklin. And now it's an eight-point game for Long Beach. Getting a steal in transition. Here is Blaine Ashley off the bench. And he gets a floater to go. Blaine Ashley getting some rare playing time now. Towards the end of the first half, he gets that floater to go in transition. Michael Workman now in the game. He gets a layup inside and gets it to go. It's now up to a 10-point lead for LBSU. Here comes Arizona the other way. One second left. They're just going to jack this one up. And that one is off. And LBSU goes on a little bit of a run there at the end of the first half to extend this lead to 10. And we're playing against the number eight team in the country now. It's no big issue now playing against these number against these top 10, 25 teams. But this one's a 10-point lead. So we are 15 minutes away from upsetting, I guess, number eight, Arizona. We're only one ranking away from them. Here's a pass inside, and that is good. That's the first, uh, I guess, notable bucket from Jake Waller. And now we get it here after offensive rebound up by a defensive rebound, I should say. Here's Jenkins all the way up the court. Spin all the way to the basket, and he gets it to go. Steve Jenkins, such a good offensive weapon. He can get to the basket at will. Here's Macklin on the outside. Hand in his face, but no problem. 13-point lead here for Long Beach. And now it's 43-32. to 32. Here's Macklin, pump fake. Back to Johnson. Back to Macklin. Mid-ranger, how about the two-man game from those two, the two guards on the team. And now on their next possession, here's a block that time by Caesar. And they get the offensive board and hit the deep shot that time. And here's another careless pass. This time picked up Arizona Venter. Look at the speed all the way to the bucket. Can you believe that a center can move like that? We're scoreless in our last three minutes here. Now up by eight, but here's Miles all the way to the basket. Nobody thinks he's going to get inside, but he does. It's now seven minutes to go here. We have the comfortable lead. Here's Johnson. Never too comfortable, though. All the way to the basket, 49-39 to 39 now. And now here's a missed shot this time by the uh, power forward for Arizona, Jake Waller. Here we go the other way. Pass inside. Solomon Teixeira. Fake up and under. It's good. And one. 51 to 39. How about Solomon Teixeira? So gifted offensively. He really looks like a different player this year from last year. And now here's Josie McKay. He gets to the basket. He's good as well. 53 39. Six minutes to go. Arizona's going to have to go to their best man, Venter. Jump shot. Good. 53 to 41 now. A 12 point lead. But here is Nick Miles off the bench. Five foot eight miles. Passing it to the corner, Macklin. Will he take the three? Back to Miles. He will take it. And it's off, but offensive rebound. Josie McKay has it and throws it down. And now it's an 11-point lead here with four minutes to go. Here is Solomon in the ins on the inside. Double team. Macklin from deep. Good. Macklin doesn't miss many open three-point opportunities. And now it's up to a 14-point game here with three minutes left. Miles off of the baseline jumper. That's good. And now it's up to a 64-50 lead, a minute and a half left. Jump shot, miss. Offensive rebound, though, put up and in. And that is good. James Stacy was there. And now it is a 12-point lead. Nick Miles getting doubled on the outside. It's tipped and deflected and saved. And now Arizona goes the other way. Here's a pass inside. In contact and a foul called on Josie McKay in transition. And they go to the free throw line, making this a 10-point game. So they do have to start fouling. This time is Keneal Mason, his fourth foul of the game. And that puts Macklin, our best free throw shooter, on the free throw line. His first of two is going to be good. That was actually a one and one. And the second shot is off the front rim, and Arizona does rebound and call the timeout. But it looks like it's going to be a little too late here for Arizona as we now will hold on to upset, I guess. I guess it's not really an upset since we're a top 10 team, too. We beat Arizona 67-54. to Great victory here for LBSU. 
And honestly, that goes a long ways here in the Pac-12 conference. They are number one still in our conference, even though they lost this game. Arizona is still on top, but a very good road victory here, making a statement here versus Arizona. And we definitely want to make a statement to the NCAA. We probably already have our tournament seed locked up. We're already top 10. Obviously, we're probably in the tournament, but we want to get that conference tournament seed. Hopefully, we get that number one seed. We need Arizona to lose a couple more games in order for that to happen. But Macklin had 23. Teixeira was very, very good. And this one, we kind of went inside out, worked around him. And everybody else got freed up for open shots. Johnson did a good job of playing defense. He wasn't very heavily involved on offense this game. He only had two points and two assists. But Venter, the conference player of the year, was only held to 11 points and six rebounds. Very, very good defensive effort we threw at him. And we end up getting the victory. So we move on here in conference play. We end up beating Oregon State 79 to 52. Johnson had a good bounce back game from that one. He had 27. And then we play our second uh, game in three games versus Arizona 62 62 with under three minutes left. Let's just hop into this one. Let's see if we can sweep them to end this season. So here's a pass this side. Inside Francois does get that one to go. And now it's 64-62. Here is Macklin handling the ball. He gets to the lane. He steps back out looking for the pick from Josie McKay. Here is Macklin on the outside passing it over to Steve Jenkins. Jenkins with the body and gets it to go. And one that time over Stacy. How about Jenkins, the body control and everything. He's so good offensively, so good defensively as well. He's also shooting 95% from the free throw stripe. He gets that one to go, 65 to 64. So a minute and a half to go. This time Macklin passing it inside. This is Josie McKay who gets the bounce pass. It's now a three point lead in Long Beach's favor. And now here they go the other way. This time it's Stacy. he gets it to go, 67, 66. And now here we can ice this game, open three. Macklin from the corner. And he doesn't miss many of those. But now Arizona comes back down the other way. Up by one is LBSU. Missed shot, and that's off. And, and we do rebound it, and now they start to foul. I'm not sure why they didn't foul right away that time. We do get it across half court. And now with under 20 seconds left, they had to foul a couple of times, and they do get to foul Justin Johnson. So I think you want Johnson on the line instead of Macklin, but Justin Johnson suiting over 80%, and the first of two is off. So the one and one free throw is missed. And now here comes Arizona back the other way. 16 seconds left. Here they are passing it over to Washington. Washington all the way to the basket, and he gets it to go. It's a one point lead in Arizona's favor. And now we pass it up court, call the timeout. Eight and a half seconds left. We've been here before. So we inbound it this time to Johnson. Five seconds left. Getting the pick, Josie McKay. It's Macklin in the corner. Open three, it's good. Macklin has done this too many times in the past. 1.1 seconds on the clock, but Macklin, you just can't leave him open. He will do this every single time. And how about this to end the season? Macklin hits the potential game winner. 1.1 second left. And here they have to inbound and just heave it full court. And that one, is off so we complete the sweep of arizona here in season number six francois venter at 28 and 14 but it wasn't enough macklin is too clutch he knocks down the game winner and we go on to beat arizona for the second time and wow what a season it's been we've come into the pac-12 and pretty much have not missed a beat we've had a lot of close games but we are pulling out these close victories. McKay had 19, Macklin had 19, Johnson had 14, two and five. Look at all the blocks our team had. Each player in our starting lineup had at least one block. That's pretty funny. And then Macklin obviously hit that game winner to give us the victory. So we do end up losing that last game, or the next game I should say, to Stanford 86 to 81. That was a game where Will Smith on that side had 27 points to lead. Stanford and Stanford has been a team that's been our rival in previous seasons in the tournaments, but we could not get that get a good winning record versus them 
this season in season number six. But we do end up defeating Arizona State to end the season. We finish 24 and 6 on the season. Same conference record as Arizona. But I believe since they did have one less loss, they got the number one seed. I'm not really sure how that worked out. I'm not really sure the tiebreaker rule is there. I would think that since we did beat them head to head, we would have had the top seed. But since they had less losses, they end up with that number one seed in the conference tournament. And that will conclude season number six in the regular season before we hop into the conference tournament. And let's just look at the player stats this year. Macklin was amazing. 18.8 points per game, three rebounds, three assists, 1.5 steals per game as well. He actually did finish on the second team all-conference team, so congrats to him. He was the only player to make it on the all-conference team. But we did have some freshman uh, All-Americans and also freshman all-conference guys. Josie McKay was a freshman, I believe, second team All-American. Then he was a first team freshman all-conference, as well as Steve Jenkins and also Justin Johnson. Congrats to those three for making the all-conference teams for freshmen. But we didn't have any, you know, All-Americans. We didn't have any first-team All-Conference guys, which pretty much sucked. I mean, I think that we deserved it. We were a very good and very well-oiled team. I mean, we were just, from top to bottom, very good this year, inside and out, defensively, offensively. We did it all, and that's the reason we only had six losses here in our first season in the Pac-12. And you can just see the rest of our guys. Blaine Ashley had 0.7 points per game, 0.5 rebounds. You got to think in his senior year, he might get some playing time in the conference tournament to round out his four-year career. So we move on to the Pac-12 conference tournament. And you can just see we will play the winner of Stanford and USC. And then on our side, we have Washington, Oregon. On the other side, Arizona will play the winner of Oregon State and Arizona State. So they have an easy matchup there in the first round. I believe we blew out both of those teams by 40 each time. So uh, that, that just shows what type of matchup that Arizona will have. But we've struggled against Stanford. So if Stanford beats USC, we could have a tough game in the first round already. So that's going to do it here next episode. We will start postseason play. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Back again like flu season. I broke records while loose leaf and I'm coming now on my roof.